Now back to the Gulf oil spill. BP has stuck with the oil dispersant core exit, despite calls from the Environmental Protection Agency to use alternatives. BP says core exit is the most effective option to clean up the huge spill. Eyewitness News anchor Art Rascone is learning more about it and got some answers from developers about its safety. We take some of the, the dispersant. This is the Corexit 9500. This is the dispersant being used just about everywhere in the Gulf. What we do, we take some crude oil and we put it on top of the water. The reaction after only a couple of drops of the chemical on the oil is almost immediate. What you'll see there, that ping indicates how quickly the dispersant molecules get to that region between the oil and the water, and that is absolutely key. For an effective dispersant, you want it to get to that interface very quickly because that allows the dispersant to start working extremely quickly. There are questions, however, about the toxicity of this chemical. Is it dangerous to sea life in humans? The company insists it's safe. The toxicity of this particular product is at least 25 times less toxic than common dishwashing soap that everybody uses in their house on a day-to-day -day basis. We then apply some wave action to this using this little shaker. Simulating the waves of the sea, the dispersant breaks up the oil into tiny droplets, which will eventually decompose. Without the dispersant, the oil just sits on the surface. The oil is extremely persistent on the, on the surface, and here it is finally dispersed. The microbes can get to this because we have a lot of small droplets. Critics, however, say the dispersant will eventually get into the food chain. Better that happens, says Dr. Horsep, than the alternative. From the standpoint of the oil getting into, uh, into, the, into the food chain, yes, there, there is certainly a, a concern there. But from the dispersant standpoint, absolutely not. The dispersant has been used around the world at oil spills, and studies have actually shown that the toxicity levels in ice cream, shampoo, and even a chocolate candy bar are higher. But one study that has not been performed is the impact of the dispersion at 5,000 feet underwater, where BP has been using an extraordinary amount of the chemical. Still, most analysts agree the dispersion is still the best and quickest temporary solution. Art Rascone, 13 Eyewitness News.